What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Halloween to those of you who celebrate, to those of you who don't. Sit back and enjoy this video. This is a scissor cut and blow dry style. How scary is that? <laughs> so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to assess the hair growth pattern. Check out the natural parting. We're going to get this hair growing in the direction of which he actually styles it in. As you can see, I'm just checking everything out. So we're starting this guard off with a number five on it simply because he asked for it. Uh, typically I just do like a number two straight up or number one and a half or so, but he requests a five down to a one. So that's what he's gonna get. So as you can see, I'm combing that hair down and at the same time, I'm just going straight off the head with the clippers. What that's doing is it's actually layering the hair as I come up. So when I have to do my scissor work it shouldn't be too much work this is a quick easy way to start your blend instead of just digging in there and stopping creating a hard line we just go straight off the off the head So right here we have the number one close and he's getting a light fade as you can see. We're just gonna take this all the way around. It's pretty simple. I'm still going straight up. I'm not creating too many harsh lines. And we just let the shape of the, of the guard actually do the work. The shape of the blade does the work. I'm using the taper blade so I don't have to work too hard to do this. As long as I go straight up, coming off, the blade is gonna, it's shaped to taper it. And the ability to be able to perfect these type of haircuts is why I took that L straight out of barber school and worked for Supercuts. So I can combine what I already knew with what they had to teach me and be able to make this for you guys. Same thing I did to the right side, we're gonna do it to the left side. Making sure that we're getting the little detail spots like behind the ear, we don't wanna leave any hair there. So right now I have opened that guard all the way up and I'm going straight up, a little higher than what I just went. So right now I have the one and a half guard and I'm going up a little higher than that, than that one all the way open. And as you can see, the, the guards are designed to fall straight in place, make the haircut go as smooth as possible. This is definitely not a difficult haircut. A lot of people are afraid to do straight haircuts just because they think it's different. It's different in the sense that you don't have to go over it as many times as you have to with, you know, over curly hair. You know, whatever you do with this, it's gonna show. So here's my number two and it is closed. And one thing I want you guys to see right here is that I'm going straight off of the head and the guard actually takes the shape. So it's gonna taper it for me. You can see the shape of the guard and the shape of his head and I'm just going straight up and down. I'm not flicking out. So now we're gonna wet the hair, make sure that it's saturated guys, make sure that you're getting up under the hair. You don't want to just have it wet on top. You want to get down to the root so that the hair is more controllable. And then I comb it all through, simple as that. This will also keep it from dripping all down his head and face and all that kind of stuff. So now we're getting to the fun stuff. All we're doing is taking a section just a little bit wider than the width of my comb. And with that, we're just pulling the hair out directly from the head, 90 degrees. And that causes it to layer. 90 degrees is layering. So it's gonna blend right in. And anything that does not blend, that's when you can come back and you know do a little bit more detail work with your scissors or your clipper over comb, anything like that. But I'm just cutting straight up. I'm not leaning in because his head is round. So as what I want you guys to see right here is that 
to create that straight shape with my fingers and make sure it's not leaning, I elevate my elbow up. And that ensures that I'm accurately giving him a 90 degree cut on the sides. And I'm just gonna do this all the way around, making sure that I'm over directing a little bit in the back because I don't wanna cut that hair too short. I want it to be able to lay down because if you cut it too short, it's gonna sprout up. And that's what you don't want. He doesn't wanna have an alfalfa in the back of his head. And the way that he wears his hair, what he does is he doesn't just do a typical comb over. It goes to the side, but to the back as well. So I'm gonna cut it with that in mind. You have to know what the desired look is gonna look like in order to give it the proper cut. So as you can see, I'm cutting it, but I'm not gonna go in too far because I know he's taking a lot off, but in the back, I'm not gonna do that. I want this area to still lay down. So anything that's hanging over from me going straight up, elbows up in the air. So pretty much after this cut, like that area is gonna be done as far as taking any length off. Everything else is going to be simply clean up like what you see me doing right now. As I get to the sides of his head, I'm gonna take off much more than what, what you saw originally. So the difference in how I'm cutting his hair right now and how I typically do a comb over is, I just be going straight up and down. Right now, you can see I'm kinda of angled in my partings because I want that hair to be longer so it can flow to the back. And as I'm cutting, I'm checking it. I'll comb it down and see how it's laying, see whatever needs to come off. Anything that's hanging over when I go straight up right there, it's gonna come off and I'm gonna walk it all the way up. Y'all gotta forgive my sloppy parts. <laughs> And honestly, most of the work from the top is gonna to be done after that right there. So I'm gonna hit the bangs in front after I verify how much length he wants to take off and then I'll blend that. And once I go to the top, it's gonna to be just minimal cutting other than when I connect the top to the front. So right now I'm connecting the front, his bangs to the side, just by pulling it back with everything else and just cutting anything that hangs over. detail it out, a little scissor over comb work. So right now you'll see that it was, it was just a little thick as I was combing it back. So I decided to point cut so we can get a little bit of that bulk out of there. Same thing right here. Wherever I see bulk, I'll just point cut because that's a way to thin that area out. This is also a method of doing the same thing. So you're thinning the hair out, but you're not removing length. All right, so what you see me do right now is what I mentioned earlier. I'm just gonna simply connect the top to the sides. I cut a lot already. So as you can see, since he's flowing to the back, I left that area longer, so I don't have to take that much length off. Right now I'm cross-checking my work, as well as as I come further to the front, I'll connect the front to the back, to the top. I'm sorry. I'll connect the front to the top. Same thing here. Pull it up, cross checking. Anything that I see hanging over, I'll take it off. So right here, I'm using my blending shears. What that does is softens the blend by eliminating any lines that may have been left when I did my original uh, scissor work. So as noted in a previous video, I received a bunch of products from Johnny B and this right here was the molding paste that I wanted to try out. So you wanna make sure you just get it in your hands, work it on in, getting it all into his hair and the sides, the top, everywhere. And now we begin our blow dry styling. So I like to use low heat and put it on medium speed. So that way I get some nice pressure going, some nice power, but I can still lay that hair down. And I start in the back because his hair is flowing to the back, so we're just gonna work and create that shape that we're desiring. 
and notice I'm not shaking my blow dryer that is not necessary you can just lay it there on the hair and it will work you know a lot of us we get into those habits where we're just shaking a blow dryer and we're brushing you don't have to do that the blow dryer is gonna do what it's designed to do and when you guys see me twisting like that spinning my wrist what I'm doing is I'm giving it a little bit of volume in this hair and then I'll brush it back lay it down because I don't want his hair to look extremely flat I want to have a little volume going on so that's what that that wrist work is doing right there simply spinning it up it's just like a um, this is a vent brush but some people like to use round brushes and as you can see I'm working my way to the front blowing that hair brushing that hair so this is where I'm going to give them more volume, more lift. It's more lift than the back because we're creating a shape. So we want it to look higher in the back. And as we go down, we want it a little bit flatter. That's why when I was in the back of the head, I just brushed straight down. And as you can see, his hair is definitely getting dry or it's dry. And that sh the shape is coming out beautiful. As you can see, the hair is just flowing. It's feathered in. So right now I have my Babyliss trimmers. These are not zero gap. Uh, these are my, I, I guess you can say they're, they're a little friendlier than some of my other trimmers that I have. Friendly meaning they're not like super aggressive or will cause you to be have skin irritation. And we're just edging it up. Just your basic stuff, you know, right around the ear. Make sure he's nice and clean. I believe we square off the back for him. I know a lot of you guys would have just tapered it out, but you gotta give people what they want. And I think this haircut just looks great. My guy looked like old boy off of, uh, off of Rocky, the big Russian. <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna style the hair. So we already got the products in before the blow dry style. So it's easy to work with, very manageable. And I'm just combing it up with my fingers, combing through with my fingers. It gives it more of a natural look. Most likely this is how he would do it at home. You know, we got a bunch of different styling combs and all that, but I went with this method. All right, so let's check out the before. My guy hadn't had a haircut in two or three months. And bam, look at that. Look how the hair just flows, man. This is, I love this haircut. I love doing this haircut. Beautiful shape and Man, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something. You know, these are the type of videos that I want to put out for you guys because this is what I'm getting requests for. for. You know, everything can't be waves and, and fades and everything like that. So there's a whole nother clientele base that you guys can grow and make more money and shine with. So, yeah, man, you guys keep watching and keep growing.